Welcome to Inside the Soundwave Internet TV Show, live from the beaches of Indian Atlantic, Florida, where all of your local musicians get to tell their music story, from the beginning to the present. And now, here's your host, Mr. Soundwave. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, what a nice big crowd today. Welcome inside the Soundwave. I believe it's show number 53 or four, I think it's 53. And on this Thursday evening, October 24th, beautiful day outside today, beachside here. And I've got a special guest with me today on this show. Uh, Brevard County um, considers Palm Bay to be his uh, home or base right now, Gary Kirby, right here. Thank you, Gary, for being on Thank the you. show. Thank what an honor me. to have you here today. <laughs> Up and coming uh, vocalist, guitarist, uh, sings some kind of kind of countryish. I think you said. Yeah, we'll uh, go with that. Kind of country. A little bit of everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pop a little bit, maybe. Sure. <laughs> awesome, incredible voice, great guitarist. Uh, you're going to be hearing some of his songs during the, the show on the breaks. And we got a special video that he just finished, uh, I guess, what, within the past month or two? Yeah, I'd say about a month ago. We shot the video in a big old house. And, and what, was it on location here in Brevard County? It was down south on A1A, oh, know, awesome. down in Melbourne Beach. Um, oh, great. You know, we all stayed the night there, kind of camped out together for a couple of days. Oh, and, that's awesome. You know. Beachside. Beachside. Hey. Oceanside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Melbourne Beach, too. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. So we, you'll get to see the, the video. You're, you're going to let them see that video, right? I'm They're hoping gonna? to. <laughs> All right. So we're going to show you the video of his song. What's the name of the song in the video? The song is called Stay. It's an original song written by my father, Gary Kirby, same name. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's about to put his CD out, and we just came up with the idea of taking that song and making a video out of it. And, wow. Wow. You know. oh. Cool. That's, so that's going to be on the show uh, tonight. Uh, we're getting ready uh, for halloween -y for <laughs> all you weenies out there. <laughs> Not too many on the beach, but it's hot as hell out. <laughs> Still, it's October. <laughs> but when you watch Gary on these songs that he performs during the show, it's, it's, a, it's a refreshing, a nice breath, fresh air. To have you, Thank you singing uh, s such good songs on the show, uh, I know you're playing around Bavard. Are you are you playing around Bavard? Oh yeah, I play locally, just just about anywhere I can get them to let me in the door at. <laughs> just where was the last place you played? The last place I played, I believe, was Ozzy's, Ozzy's Crab House. Oh yeah, I yep. think we'll go with that. Yep. Tomorrow night's at downtown. And oh, 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 tomorrow night? Tomorrow night's at the firehouse, and the next night's at Matt's Casbah. Oh, yeah, at the firehouse yeah. tomorrow night. Cool. Downtown, downtown, two nights in a row. And, uh, and the firehouse, then what did you say? Next? Then Matt's Casbah Wednesday night. Oh, I know, Matt. Yeah, it's okay. always a fun gig. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Great place, downtown Melbourne. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, well, we're talking about Thursday now, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> we're cool. We're cool. Um, uh, he'll be playing this, this week. Uh, downtown Melbourne so you can catch him down there uh, at those places we just mentioned and yes you can still go and see him <laughs> <laughs> all right we got to get on with where did this nice inspiring aspiring oh, don't flatter <laughs> <laughs> musician come from uh, where were you born Gary? I was born in Coral Springs Florida down south um, born to musical parents dad on the road rock rock star rock kind of guy you know um, 20 years, he met my mom on the road, which was the lead singer for his band, and um, they had me somewhere around the country, and and then uh, that's kind of where that that started from, and mm -hmm. yeah. And that, well, how old, how old were you when you uh, you picked up a guitar? I believe I picked up a guitar for the very first time when I came to visit my dad. Um, I'd say maybe 11. We'll go. We'll go with 11. And uh, I just had to learn how to play "Sweet Home Alabama." It was just the coolest little 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 thing to me, you know. And uh, it's a good tune. Yeah. And he uh, he was like, "Well, you know, <laughs> he didn't want to show me how to play, you know." And I I I didn't understand why. And he what he what what he wanted to do was he wanted me to learn it myself. 
So he showed me, firstly, what I really wanted was this electric guitar and play all these power chords because, you know, they were a little bit easier and, right. and uh, you know, basically take the easy way out, you know. Yeah. But I guess Dad wanted me to take the road less taken, and, uh, and he made me, he, he bought this acoustic, and the, and the strings were, like, this far away from the, from the, the, the oh, neck of the guitar, and, you know, and... and and it was tough. <laughs> you had to do some. I had to do some serious pressing down and yeah, getting yeah. some calluses. <laughs> and they're still here. Imagine that. Damn. And he showed me how to play an E chord and an A minor chord, and then he showed me how to finger pick with my right hand, and and that's it. That was life for a couple months, and it was it was terrible. It was the most boring song ever because it wasn't a song. It was just finger movements that I had to do, and um, I'm thankful for it now because now I yeah you, you can, know you can see how polished you are. Well, very nice. I mean, when I hear the guitar, you can hear the, you know, it's it's actually soothing. It's it's <laughs> well, a nice sound. You. Yeah, it's a beautiful sound when you hear it coming through the system, and and, and you, it just makes you feel comfortable. It does. It's, it's great, great. Makes me feel yeah. comfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I feel nervous, I pick up a guitar. I'm okay. Kind of like at the uh, the, there you go. the award show, the BMAs. I don't know what to do behind stage. I grab oh, that's like <laughs> right. You were at the BMAs, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I was oh there. My God, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I think I saw some pictures of that. Yeah, I mean, it was a great night. You know, I was just kind of nervous. You know, first time, new kid on the block. You know, all the all the big dogs are behind the, behind the curtain with me, and I was a little nervous. And what an honor to be playing that! It was definitely an awesome opportunity, and um, and when I played another one of my dad's original songs, "Chasing Rainbows," and and that's out on the internet and YouTube, and um, you know, but when I got on the other side of the curtain, I was so nervous. All those people, I was like, oh man, and then I. I, it was so bad, I forgot to turn the volume up on the guitar. You can actually see this on the internet. I mean, it, it, it really happened. And um, so I finally figured out where the volume knob was on the guitar. No problem. <laughs> and then uh, It didn't take you too long to figure it out. I hope. It felt like an eternity. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're playing in front of your peers. Yes. All the, you know, all the musicians out there and all the... That's, that's tough. That's like Academy Awards, you know. And yeah. You're going in front of all the all the... Actors and actresses. Pardon the pun, but they don't miss a note, those guys, you know. <laughs> no. You could play at a restaurant, and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, he didn't mess up. Mm, let me tell you something. <laughs> I go out and hear a lot of bands, and, yeah, they make mistakes. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, we're all, we're all human. You know, that. It's, it's good. You did a great job. I, I heard I heard a lot about that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then yeah. Lose Blues afterwards was a lot of fun as well. You know, that was the... That was the coming down the hill, you know. It's no nerves anymore. It was, oh no! It was when you hit lose, you, you can unwind. <laughs> can unwind. And I went up on stage. We played a song with some of my dad's old bandmates. And did you play you upstairs? Know. Yeah, I played yeah. up with uh, Joe Joe Cludi and Mikey Shane and one and the bass player from Spanx. And we did a Bon Jovi tune, and it was just fun, man. You oh, know? you played? Oh, yeah. yeah we did. Yeah, Spanx was, is one of my favorite bands. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> and it was Great just, guys. It was just cool to be on stage with those guys, you know. Yeah. As a kid, kind of before I got into this, I kind of grew up with all these guys, and they'd come over to the living room and have band practice, and I'd be over in the corner, you know, trying to steal some wine or something like that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and just listen. It's like, man, this is this is cool, and you know, now now we have people come over to the living room and, and practice together, and that's great. And it's cool. Yeah, well, you're part of the group, <laughs> part of the team. <laughs> you are part of the Bavard music scene, believe it or not. You are. You're in the scene. Um, on the show, you're you're in good with very good company that's been on the show, and, yeah. and you're part of it now. So you're in the family now. What we got to do is some um, somewhere's down the road here. We'll get you on the um, soundstage. Soundstage, okay. And you perform 45 minutes. Okay. And uh, then you can we advertise it. You get the DVD. Nice. Uh -huh. And then, uh, I like DVDs. Yeah. And then, <laughs> You know, you can do what you want with that, and we can master some of those songs. Yeah, hopefully we can send it to somebody in Nashville, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you send the DVD with the music mixed down and mastered. Right. So, I mean, you're going to send a really polished, good DVD, as many copies as you want to make yourselves, and send it all over the place. It's a heck of a lot better than just listening to it. You know, just, well, what's this guy look like? What's he look like <laughs> while he's playing the song? Now they've got the DVD mastered. Nice. So, we, you know, we could do that for We'll get him on that. We'll get Gary on the sound stage. <laughs> I'm looking forward no, to it, man. No, awesome. 45 <laughs> minutes, uh, relaxed atmosphere. You'll be fine. Piece of cake. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you're doing a great great job already. All right. So, anyways, you were, uh, what, you said 11 years old? So I was about 11 when I first started. Uh, I picked up an acoustic guitar, and then uh, I, I ventured off to electric. And, you know, it just wasn't really my thing. You know, I really, I, I kind of liked, uh, 
I liked more of the acoustic type, you know. I like the sound. I like the sound of it. Mm. You know, I have acoustic guitars all, all around the house and just playing them and, and listening to the music that I grew up on, you know, the James Taylor influence and, and, and all that stuff. I just really liked it, you know. And, and, and it's an older, before my time kind of style, but, you know, I, I learned it and I played it and I didn't sing it, I just played it. I didn't start singing until. I, I don't know when, you know, probably only a few years ago, and, and anything more than the shower, you know. And right. Nobody could hear that, you know. No. You got a great voice. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and just kind of picked it up from there. And, and this all took place down in Fort Lauderdale or Well, I, I, Coral I, I guess a little bit of both. Um, Dad moved up here, and then I, I would come and visit, and that's when, well, yeah, it took it took place here. To come up to visit, and there'd all the m- m- instruments everywhere, you know, the studio, there's a... There's a keyboard. There's everything. And it's like, wow. One day I just got hungry. I wanted to. I want to learn how to play all of it. You know, right. every every instrument in this house. I wanna wanna be a master of. You know, right. and uh, that didn't quite happen. But um, it's uh, hard. <laughs> it's hard work. And uh, <laughs> um, and then and then you know just coming up and visiting visiting and, and and playing some songs here and there. And then I finally got a guitar. And like I said, and practice, practice, practice. And then finally moved up here. And um, you know just wanted to play, wanted to play. And then. I just, one day I um I just, just I started off playing at Applebee's, um, doing an open mic thing, and um, yeah, those open open mics do wonders. They do. Yeah, the people hear you and then they say, "What you want?" And you're doing a solo act, right? Of course, just well, I was playing with uh, with with a friend of ours. Okay, and um, you know, and and we hit it off, and we did we hosted the 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 open jam. So then, if we didn't have anybody that would come and play, we would we would come. Sure. And I didn't have a lot of songs in the book or anything. Like that. It took a while, and then um, one day I went to an open mic show and hosted by Marion Bruce. Bruce Donna, yeah, Kenny D's. He has it down there. Well, yeah, but he was doing it at, at another at another venue, and yeah. I went in there and then played, and I got a gig. I Bruce. played there on Fridays after that, and um, see. And then through through the influence of you know my father and and you know family, um, gigs just kind of started popping up, and I got hooked up, and then and I went out and and I made my business cards and my my promo CD, and that didn't really help, you know, <laughs> that didn't do me a whole lot of good, <laughs> and um, it just kind of took off from there. And now I'm now I'm, I'm in a happy place, you know, I'm playing out, and I just want to take it a step further now. Good, good. I bet you you'll be a busy guy. <laughs> really, I bet you will be. It's, yeah, and, and you're you're working, which we will talk about after uh, wanting to get signed. Yeah, yeah, you know, and and of course get into that studio and start doing stuff. S- but you're so you are writing some material, or you're doing some material. <laughs> I mean, I'm covering most of Dad's songs. However, I I was see I get I get plane sick right. It happened to be on a plane last night. As I don't know, thirty thousand feet up in the air, Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte I knew Airport. that. Yeah, it. it <laughs> the, the plane broke. The this the one that didn't leave us. We what? got left the day before. It. Long story short, I decided to write a song, um, up in the air. You know, and uh, and it, it's 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 written, but uh, there's still more work that yeah. needs to be done to it. So hopefully that's coming soon. <laughs> I saw the post about Charlotte, and I'm going. I think he's on the show tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I... It, yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So, wow, that's interesting. So. I've got a daughter-in-law in Charlotte. Up really? There. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, it's up there, though. It is very nice. We went for um, uh, grandmother's 90th birthday, and we mm-hmm. flew up Saturday and missed the flight and came back Sunday, and the plane broke. But we finally made it in town about midnight. And it broke on the ground, hopefully, well, which yeah, it did, yes. It, it, it broke <laughs> on the ground, and... There's, it was making some kind of noises up in the air, so I don't know if they got it fixed or not, but we made it, and so that's that's all that's important. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> it doesn't do uh doesn't make for a comfortable trip back when no. you know there's something wrong with this plane. Yeah, then <laughs> pilots were hungry, the stewardess were hungry, they turned the lights off on us. It's, it was nice to be home. Yeah. <laughs> you flew in Orlando then. Flew into right? Melbourne, luckily. Oh good, that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. All uh, right. That's pretty cool. Now, let's get back to uh, 11 Coral Springs. Working. Who influenced you the most when you were just My dad, starting? For sure. Just like I said, being around. When I was a little kid, he... Um, okay. He your dad. A, about your dad. Yeah. Not to interrupt you. Sure. Tell me a little bit about your dad. Well, you know, born and raised in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. You know, he played 
And he's a musician. He's a musician. He's, he plays plays everything. He's putting a CD out here coming in the next daily. You know, it'll be out very, very, very soon. Um, it's called My Life and Music. It's volume one. I mean, he's he's written records before. He had a record deal with Nashville when he was 15. So just, you know, growing up and kind of absorbing all this in, it's like, man, that's, that's kind of cool, you know, seeing all the pictures, seeing the record deals hanging up on the wall. It's like, hey, what is that? What was that thing called? Is it an 8-track? You know, this is when he wrote, uh, his, track. He wrote his horse to school during this time. You're making fun you know? of me, too, it, when you <laughs> say 8-track. So, I mean, I'm, in, I'm included in that 4-track before the 8-track. I don't know about that. All right, yeah. <laughs> no, I know you don't. That's, that's a long time ago. That's cool. So he's he had deals with uh, record he had a record deal. I'm not sure if it was Tanya Incredible. Tucker or Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Turner? But one mm-hmm. of the two, they were signed together, and um, they they it didn't it didn't work out for him. And um, and then his his contract, you know, he had the contract, but it broke. I think I don't remember what the termination was on it. But um, you know, I know he knows TC Ridge. I'm not sure. I bet he does. Uh, TC's down there in Palm Bay, and he's a big country, south of Georgia. South of Georgia. Okay. Oh yeah, he know, he he knows. I'm not too familiar with them, but that's what pretty much got me started. It's yeah. just absorbing all that in and growing up into it, and knowing See, that's well, it's in your blood. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's cool. That's <laughs> cool. You're gonna pave your own path. Let's hope so. <laughs> yeah, you are. I can tell already. You're gonna do that. Uh, I've seen good and you know good music, and I've seen some not so good music. Right. Uh, everybody's good. Everybody's at a different level. And uh, believe me, believe me, you're at uh, you're at that level. I'm hoping to be at the good level, <laughs> right? We're going to take a break, and I think the first song we're going to see is uh, what was the name of the first song we're, we're going to see? It's a John Mayer song, a heavy influence for me. You know, we saw him in concert live a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, that's great. It was awesome. It's called a Queen of California. Queen of California. Queen of California. He wrote this song on a plane, which is why I like to play. There you go. <laughs> Queen of California. Don't go away. Watch the song. Incredible. Gary Kirby here. This is a song by John Mayer called Queen of California. Here it goes. Goodbye cold And goodbye rain And goodbye sorrow And goodbye shame I hit it out west with my headphones on I board on a flight with a song in the back of my soul And no one knows I just found out a goose left town A queen of California is a stepping down, down, down If you see her, say hello don't just tell me, I told you so. Looking for a sun that near you, after the gold rush of 1971. I just found out a goose left town, the queen of California's a stepping down. Hello, beauty, hello, strange, 
And I wonder what's your name Looking for Zeus, the house by the sea I gotta believe that there's a mannequin waiting on me To set me free Just found out a ghost left town The queen of California is stepping down, down, down Stepping down We're back, Gary Kirby, my guest tonight, the barred up and coming artist, uh, singing, vocalist, and guitarist around Brevard County, Gary Kirby. And uh, we'll talk, we're going to talk a lot more about <laughs> what Gary's doing around Brevard, but we got to continue going. I hope you liked that song too. It was an incredible song that you just watched the, uh, the video of. Uh, we're going to continue with. Um, what got him up to, uh, I'd say, um, 2000. I mean, we got, you, uh, we got you playing back there in Coral Springs up through, got up in the Brevard County. When, when did you get up to Brevard County? Moved up here when I was about 14, mm -hmm. 14, 15, spring break, something A couple years like ago. A <laughs> couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> just a young guy right here, I'll tell you. <laughs> and, um, you know, just working is a little, little journey. Little journey, but um, you know, finally I decided that, that that's, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to play, and then and, and, and I just started playing, you know. And whether it's on the couch, whether it's at the at the bar, at the club, at the at the hotel, I'm, I'm still just gonna play. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I love to do is just play. So Good. That's what I did, and um, now I'm, I'm happy, happy to play. <laughs> happy, happy to play. So, so were you here in the year 2000? Um, 2000 would have been. No, I don't. I don't uh, think so. That would have made ago? me eleven, I believe. No, no, no. That would have made me. That's I'm right. Doing my math yeah, wrong. Yeah, see, thirteen years ago, twenty, yeah, eleven years old. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm right. <laughs> so you got in a, you got up here around fifteen or right, fourteen. About 15. two thousand. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. Two thousand four. And you were still playing when you got in here, at Brevard. Well, I mean, I was trickling around, you know, just learning stuff like here, and then I jumped on the drum set, and then I jumped on the keyboard, and I just was trying to do all these different things at once. Um, which w which was cool, you know. It kept me entertained, you know, yeah. around the house because it was available. The resources were there to learn, and and Dad helped out along the way. What and a plus that is. Yeah, yeah, and then you know the internet. Um, it, it was not as advanced as it is now with no, with no, assistance, it's but I'm kind of thankful for it because now, to an extent, I can kind of listen to things, and and I might not get it quite right. I might need to ask for help or look it up, but in, in most cases, I'd like to say that I can pretty much figure out where something's going just by listening to it. You know, so. Um, and that's pretty much because I really didn't have much of a choice um, growing up. Right. So I'm thankful for that now, and uh, so that that did me a lot of good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that helps a lot. So you went to uh, excuse me, high school here. What's a Palm Bay High School? Um, didn't really get involved in in the band scene or or anything like that. Um, you know, graduated in 2009, and um, from Palm Bay. Yeah, from Palm Bay. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, Bayside or no, no, we, we didn't go to Bayside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we I think we beat those guys in football. <laughs> you don't want to go to Bayside. <laughs> um, okay, and then just you know, it, it didn't really quite take off until I'd say probably 2000, 2012 in June. I started playing out, so I'm kind of kind of new to it. You know, a little over a year, I've just been playing, but I've been playing a lot. And, um, you know, 
I like it. Plus, I work work full time. Okay, you work so, full time. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The JoJo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, we work. Uh, he's actually my manager. We work. We work at Lens Crafters together, and um, he's uh, the other aspect of life. He teaches me a lot there, as far as um, that business is concerned, and and that's a career within itself. So, um, you know, I'd like to think that I'm well rounded, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> trying to be successful. Um, you know, and it's just it's just fun. It seems like everybody in our store is somehow connected uh, musician wise, and they you all know, play instruments. Is that on one ninety two? Yeah, okay, yeah, right there on one ninety two. You know, I gotta stop by there. Yeah, come on in. We'll talk to you about music or something. You know, oh yeah, we'll figure oh. out the eyeglass part later. You know? I didn't I didn't <laughs> realize that uh, JoJo was there too. Yeah, he's the lab manager. He's he runs runs a great lab, and um, and our doctor he's picked up the guitar because he you know doesn't have much of a choice <laughs> we all play and uh, that's great he's back there on youtube videos and he'll probably be watching this <laughs> <laughs> good at some point good yeah we got jojo has been on the show so that's a, a, one of my favorite bass players in Inver- yeah, County. incredible energy mm-hmm. uh up and down the up and down the fretboard with that bass <laughs> it's incredible i love it that rock candy is great they are great yeah um so we got you you know you you just Kind of wandered around up until 2012, Bavard, pretty much <laughs> trying to get it together. You think a little bit on the music side, trying to get it together on a little bit of every side. I'd like to think, you know, yeah. um, but um, finally got it together and all kind of worked out well. And, and I'm, I'm content and happy, happy with where it's at. And Have you gone to see anybody that you particularly like? Uh, oh yeah, you man. Did, you did. I, I I saw. This happened in, like, I'd say the past six months. I'm like, you know, I woke up one day, and I'm like, you know what? I, I want to go see Rascal Flats because I really like those guys, you know. And um, So I saw them in Tampa, and then not too long after that, Dad and I went and saw John Mayer, which was, like, the top of the line, Ooh. best of the best. And, mm. you know, he he's just he's just amazing. You know, you <laughs> listen to the things that he says, and he's the most hated musician in the world, but his concert was sold out, and now there's not one person that wasn't singing along to his song, so I could be that guy. You know, <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> no, he's a cool... He's yeah, he's real cool. He's really good musician. You know, definitely talented. And then um, a few weeks ago, I went and saw Keith Urban, which was uh, another mm. another really cool concert. You know, it's just, it's just inspiring. You know, you see these guys on stage, and like, wow. I mean, That's who... Dallas works for that was in here when you got here earlier. Mm-hmm. Dallas Elbers. Nice. He was the guitarist playing. The guitar. one with the 12 string? Or the yeah. Nice. Yeah. He works. He works for <laughs> Keith. Nice. That's awesome. He gets to go to the tours and works That's awesome. on the stage. That's super cool. Yeah, and because Keith is quite a performer. He is. He's well rounded himself, you know, acoustic, electric, piano. So you've seen some pretty good people. I've seen the some of the best, and you know, it's just, it's, it's in my opinion, I, I like them. Oh yeah, it's good to see them too because it it sharpens you up a little bit too. Uh, it makes you more hungry too. You see, you see those big speakers hanging down and those banana speakers those coming banana out of speakers. the ceiling, the sky. Yeah, yeah the sky, <laughs> and then there's ten thousand people that are screaming your name and singing your songs. Those really banana cool speakers will make you go deaf. I sat there for a Rush concert <laughs> right in the fourth, third row. <laughs> and I looked up and I'm going, uh-oh. The fourth row? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that thing was right on top of me. And when they started to play, I was deaf. <laughs> I loved it, though. But you're right. It's, it's quite a rush. Not, that's a pun because I'm a Rush fan. <laughs> uh, that's, it's really amazing to see the crowd, how the people can get into that performer. It is. You know, uh, you, you've got the skills. I'm hoping so. You I'm just have to have the patience. I got the patience. There you go. Somewhere in there. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you'll, get, you'll gain more patience uh, as you go along, as you get a little bit older, you know. And, and, and when you least expect it, you'll be on ABC and Fox and whatever. <laughs> right. Yeah, don't, that's the way it goes. I'm not kidding. Somebody will see you. I hope so. Do you ever think about going on uh, America's Got Talent or uh, The Voice or anything? You know, I, I'm kind of discouraged for that, um, for the simple fact that I, I find that some of our hometown, you know, most talented musicians that we have in this town. Right, there are um, quite a they've, few. They've gone out, and, and they just get they get shut down, you know, and, and it's got to be discouraging. And, um, you know, so I haven't really thought so much in that direction. Um, because, you know, they do, we've had people come into the studio and record their performances, and then they send it in to... Uh, the voice, right? Yeah, that's a and, good idea. And uh, and then they pre pre screen it and see mm-hmm. it, and then they call you in. I mean, it's not really that hard to do. I mean, you can come in the studio, videotape your performance in the studio, not here, in the vocal booth, right? 
uh, with your guitar and everything, and uh, send it in, and it, all you, all they can say is yes or no. But they're not always the only ones. You're right. They're not all the. the it's tough. They kind of ridicule a lot of people too, and they, you know. Yeah. All depends on what kind of mood they're in. I think they kind of. <laughs> Well, I mean, I enjoy watching the shows. You I mean, know, Howard I, Stern can be a putz, <laughs> you know, sometimes, and he could be a great guy, but he does have a good ear. Yeah. Does most of them do. Well, anyways, you're just going to keep going and plugging along here I'm in Brevard County. There's nothing wrong with that because there's a hell of a lot of good musicians here in Brevard there is. County. Really is. Uh, between the drummer, Pat, playing with uh, Three Dog Night, he's a drummer, he's right here in Cocoa Beach. Uh-huh. And you heard of Three Dog Night, I hope. I, I, they don't ring Tell me you have. <laughs> yes, you have. You've heard of one is the only, is the loneliest number that you ever, one is. I know you guys have heard of, of uh, Three Dog Night, right? And Tommy Cecilberg is here, and he was the drummer nice. with Paul McCartney and Wings. Gotcha. Back in the 80s. He lives around here. Really? Yeah. That's I mean, pretty cool. And we've got uh, bass player right down the road, um, Bobby Dahl. I've heard of that name before. Poison. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're all right here in Brevard County. We got and there's some hidden. Yeah, that's amazing too. Like some of the boys from the Molly Hatchet, <laughs> they're here. Yeah, uh, great. So you're in. You're in with a good mix. You keep good playing company. around the clubs. They hear you. Yeah, you know, and uh, you get you get out on the internet on this show. Awesome. And uh, we're pushing eight hundred thousand viewers uh, on my shows up to date. That's super awesome. And that's really good. What it's all about, man. Yeah. <laughs> so we we got a video you're going to be talking about pretty soon, I think. Uh, um, who are we bringing up on the next segment? Tell me a little bit about the the fella. Okay. Um, TLC Film Productions are some some friends of mine. Um, I went to to high school with, and um, you know we got hooked up together. They specialize in weddings, and they do they do some great stuff as far as that's concerned. And Brevard County. I I think they I think they're pretty. Um, yeah, Brevard County. Yeah. Brevard County? Okay. Yeah. I was going to say worldwide, but <laughs> that oh, yeah, they, sound right. <laughs> well, they probably are. They, <laughs> you the know, they're are right. still worldwide. Uh, if they're in Brevard County, it's just, <laughs> we're right here worldwide, it's right? It's a big here. county. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> so you got the video you did with them? Got the video. It actually just came out yesterday. It was awesome. I was at wow. the airport hating my life, thinking I was going to get on another airplane, and then this video came out, and it, it, was, it, was, it was awesome, you know? And, um, some pretty cool memories in that video for me and and for all of us I think and and we stayed in this you know nice old house and uh, you know we sh- took took a couple days and a couple days to film it a couple days to film it yeah and then cut it and then edit it and then with the pictures and everything and then um, you know it, and what's the fella's name that's coming up to, to sit with us um, Chris and Tina and then we've got Christina you know you got Chris and Tina and then Christina Christina is the uh, the wonderful lady that I, I found to, uh, mm-hmm. you know, play the, the girl part um, in the video, and, um, oh, and yeah, <laughs> that's really. And we're gonna, they're gonna get to see the video. Uh, on yeah, our show. I think so. That is cool. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a break, and we're going to have uh, the. Uh, would we be the owner of TLC? Yes. Yeah, we're gonna have the owner of TLC. Now I've seen that TLC around somewhere. I, I get around Brevard. <laughs> and I have seen it, and uh, there's a lot of good things coming. Yeah, they're out. great. Yeah, they're, they're really great. good. Uh, don't go away. I'm going to watch another video, another song, which is called. I know you know that song. Th- this one's uh, "Be Mine." It's a Hunter Hayes song. Another strong influence. I I love his stuff. He's you know he's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Watch the video. It's 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 live. It's right here on the show tonight. Don't go away. We're going to make them work right now. We'll be right back with more about the video. you got to see at the end of the show, you'll see the video too. Watch this performance.
Gary Kirby here. This is a song by Hunter Hayes. It's called Be Mine. I'd love to know just what you're thinking Every little river running through your mind You give and you take, you come and you go You leave me here wondering if I ever know How much you care, or how much you don't Whatever you need, whatever you want If you're gonna be somebody's heartbreak if you're gonna be somebody's mistake If you're gonna be somebody's first time Or somebody's last time Baby, be mine If you're looking to be somebody's just friends A little laugh, a little love And never calling again That's just fine If you're gonna be somebody's heartbreak Be mine Well, I guess that's all I'm trying to tell you Is a minute with you is better than two without Oh, I won't be a fool, but I can't play it cool So I'm playing it safe and I'm breaking the rules I'm wishing I had what I know that you got So if you're coming my way, then please don't stop If you're gonna be somebody's heartbreak if you're gonna be somebody's mistake If you're gonna be somebody's first time Or somebody's last time Baby, be mine If you're looking to be somebody's just friends A little laugh, a little love And never calling again That's just fine You're gonna be somebody's heartbreak Be mine If you're gonna be someone's heartbreak If you're gonna be someone's mistake Yeah, I'll take my chances If you're gonna be somebody's heartbreak If you're gonna be somebody's mistake for the first time, or the last time, baby, be mine. And if you're looking to be somebody's just friends, a little laugh, a little love, and never calling again, that's just fine. You're gonna be somebody's heartbreak and be mine. Baby, be mine or mine. Might as well, might as well be mine. Gary expanded into a whole family. <laughs> yes, we are back to Inside the Soundway with featured artist Gary Kirby over here on this side right here. And Gary's going to introduce everybody that's here sitting with me on the stage right now. Gary, go ahead and, and okay. go ahead. And In no particular order, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Chris, Tina, and Christina. I think it's funny. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the C's. Oh, I almost spit that out. The C's. The C's. Yeah, the three C's. 
There you go. Uh, is it with a C or a K? With a C. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, well, the video they just did about a month and a half ago or so is going to be shown uh, at the end of the show. And these two, this couple right here, that's a couple too, right? Yeah. Uh, they own, are the co-owners or the owners of TLC. Mm -hmm. A little bit about TLC. Yeah, well, we uh, we do a lot of weddings and events. Uh, we're kind of getting to a bunch of things, but Gary, we've known Gary. He's been a personal friend of ours for a few years, and um, he had an idea. We actually had a mutual interest in uh, putting putting together a music video, and it's uh, really was our it was actually our first music video uh, that we've ever put together. We have a cinematic style of shooting uh, as far mm. as weddings and events go, so I, I definitely felt comfortable taking on the project, and um, I'm really excited. It's uh, j just just uh, hot off the press, actually just uploaded to YouTube yesterday, not even 12 hours out, and uh, wow. we're super excited for it, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm excited to have it on the show. <laughs> Woo! It's great! I, I like things like that. That's, uh, that's a, a kind of a premiere, in a way, even though you put it out 12 hours ago or so. Mm -hmm. Now, TLC, and where are you based? We're right here in Central Florida. We're out of Palm Bay. Uh, we uh, work uh, in, in uh, our offices in Palm Bay. Um, and uh, like I said, we do a lot, of, pretty much all types of, of events: weddings, uh, birthday parties, uh, anything that requires any photography or video. Uh, we're there. Mm, so very interesting. Yeah. I have to work with you guys. <laughs> you name it, we do it. We can we can hook up and do some stuff together. There's a lot of events coming up. Awesome, awesome. Actually, we just got done shooting. Uh, it was actually the largest. 5K in the in Brevard County is a turtle crawl 5K. Oh yeah. So it was a I, I, well, we're in the beach side as well uh, about a month ago and uh, the largest one in Brevard K. We did the video. We had the video. There's a video on our webpage from the video from the uh, event. So uh, it's a great video. Great, Say really the name event. of the webpage. It's uh, TLCFilmProductions.com is our webpage. Uh, you, you can also check out uh, the turtle crawl 5K uh, Brevard County. There you go. Now you, you, you can, if you missed that. Uh, you'll be able to watch a show in about an hour and a half and after the show, and it'll be 24-7 on demand, so you can always push the <laughs> buffing back a little bit and play it over again, and you'll get it, right? That's it. That is it. Now, over behind you, Gary, uh, who do we have again? This is Christina. And um, yes. She's a star in the... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is the part. <laughs> She started them in the in the movie music video. See, I can't even talk movie music video. Um, the music video with us, and um, you know, I'm, I was pleased to have her. She did a great job, and uh, we hit it off pretty well. And uh, <laughs> I guess uh, we're considered a couple now, as of as of today. Wow! So another <laughs> another event happening <laughs> on the show: the video and the couple. See that? This is great. <laughs> this is what it's about. Right? Let's get it on the show. No, just kidding. That's good. <laughs> it's good to have uh, things happening just before the show because then it's going to always be <laughs> on the Internet. Yeah. So you two have to stay together. All right. <laughs> um, I now pronounce you man away. So we're all set. <laughs> it's good to go. You're next. You're already a couple. We are a couple. We've been together for five years. Uh, we're actually getting married in March, uh, so six months. Five, oh, great. Five months. Congratulations. Yeah, we're super excited. Um, March... March 22nd. Okay. March 22nd, Rockland's Country, Club. Everybody's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rockland's Country Club. Everybody's invited. Where's The Rockland's Country Club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I know that is. It's a great, great venue. We've, we've done a nice, few right. events there. we got actually a, a wedding coming up that we're doing video and photo for in two week, uh, three weeks. So i uh, really excited for it. Wow, that's great. Hey, this is really kind of cool. Yeah. Now, this is Christina. Yes. Christina, you're from Palm Bay by yes, chance? Yes, born and raised. How did you come about being the the, the uh, actress and uh, the main actress or the yeah, yeah. Uh, actually we met through like a mutual friend and a friend came up asked me if I wanted to do the video I said why not <laughs> yeah. cool it's funny thing is we have a lot of mutual friends but we never met each other <laughs> wow yeah. and Palm Bay kind of big though yeah. and it I really went to Bayside is. by the way you, oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I have a lot of friends that are down Bayside area. It's 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 nice down there though. All right. So this is the, the we got to talk about the video. Yeah. Um, tell me roughly when you said about a month and a half ago, and you're in Melbourne Beach, and how did you find the 
house or the location? Well, everything really just fell into place. Uh, I mean, I, I couldn't. I, I I really didn't know how it was going to work because with with music videos, there's usually a large budget. You know, you have to feed everyone, you have to house everyone, you have to have a place to shoot, and uh, that was my original concerns. And, and Gary had all the connections. I mean, this guy is is fully connected he knows everybody um so he was able to get us a, a house a great house it was actually like it was a mansion right on the beach um so we were able to get that i mean and he uh the owner of the house he was really great open arms uh he, he wow. actually owns a restaurant let us eat there um so we had a great support system you know and if it wasn't for gary and his, his awesome connections yeah that i don't think it would so have uh, yeah so and it really took the video to the next level because you know, I don't have a problem shooting out in, in public places, but w when you have a, a nice venue to shoot at, uh, it really just makes the video so much better and professional looking. So mm -hmm. uh, everything really worked out really great. You know, That's I was great. super, super stoked when he told me he, he had a few uh, uh, friends that he could c call upon as far as uh, going to for a house to shoot in. So it really worked out. And a couple days, you got it all down. It was one song, right? Court? One song, a couple days. Um, mm -hmm. So the, the owner of the house is Phil. He owns uh, D'Angelo's down there, south on A1A. Well, no kidding. Yeah, and, um, you know, we're, me and him, we, you know. Excellent. He, he owns Kenny D's as well, and we're just, we've just been close, and he's been tremendous Yeah, I've played help. at Kenny D's. <laughs> yeah, and, he, and he's done a lot down there, too. Yeah. Knocked the wall down. Knocked the wall yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was there. We played before the wall. I'm glad he knocked the wall down. Knocked the wall down, yeah. <laughs> it could be old. The, the band, I was like. And the drums in there. <laughs> no, no, you got all kinds of room there now. Yeah, that's great. Nice guy. Nice restaurant, too. Yeah. Pretty nice. That's really good. And uh, and the song is? The song is, is was written by my dad. Um, it's called Stay. It's, um, it's kind of ambiguous in its interpretation as far as what you think the video could be. You know, stay. You think it, It's definitely more of the romantic side. Um, slow at least or fast? It, it, it's, it's a slower song. It's kind of like on the feel of like maybe like a Rascal Flats or a Daughtry type thing. You know, it just kind of builds up and then right at its peak. But, but the, the peak is, it's not like some hard metal song. You know, it's, it's a real, it's, it's a mellow type of, you know, like a love song. And it's just, you know, after working with Dad's ideas and his actual lyrics are, are, are in the video when he mm -hmm. originally wrote the song with a pencil on a, on a pad. Um, you know, between him interpreting to me what he saw in his head when he wrote the song, and then Chris and I getting together, it was just—it just, it just magically great. all came to happen to where we all. And saw you got a it mastermind. Yeah. Your dad had it all in his head already. And then, and Chris, and, and I—I mean, and he, then, yeah. yeah, it all worked out the same way. We all saw the same thing, you know. And and, and well, it then you know, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood, here we come. <laughs> How did you lay down the audio, if you don't mind me asking? The you? audio is actually Dad's. We we kept his his audio on there. Um, it's his song. Um, you know, I was just I was pleased to be able to be able to to take the 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 video side of it, you know, behind his voice and in his mind and awesome on a CD that he's getting ready to put out. And Damn. that's that was really cool for that's me. Pretty good, good, you know. good plug for you too. Oh yeah, that's we had tremendous. a lot of fun. It was a great, great project. <laughs> you know, it's uh, first time doing it, but uh, it's awesome. Very good. You you splashed that video up in Nashville and Memphis area up there. That's what I was. I was really hoping to get it up in, up in time while he while he was you know up there, and so we can try to just get everybody to to view this thing. You know, really proud of the project and how it came out. Um, you know, like I said, it took us two days of shooting and took me uh, you know another two weeks of editing time. Um, you know, to correct everything and make it look uh, pretty. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, with music videos, like I have a cinematic style of editing, so I wanted to bring that to Gary, and um, we're really proud with with the project. We're we're happy. It's awesome. Wow. And how did you help in all this? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I didn't forget you. <laughs> I helped film, and of course, when he edits, I'm always there for another eye. She it, actually brought me into the business. <laughs> she started the company. And um, she taught me everything I know. And uh, now I do the video and she does photography. So she's actually the uh, director of photography on the video. Um, so all the you know, official scenes and cut shots she's done, uh, a lot of the B-roll footage she's done as well. Um, I mixed some of the, you know, with the audio mm -hmm. and laying the tracks over, doing that. My, that was uh, my, my role, but uh, there's a lot, a lot involved as far as shooting the music video. Mm -hmm. but. Um, I think it's it's going to be great for Gary to you know promote himself what like and like you said just to have that video Whoa. with the audio it's just 
How can you people want to see the what face? A, what know? a way to present yourself. You, yeah. You've got you. That's a good way to do it instead of playing bar after bar after bar for months after months after months. I mean, <laughs> you did what what you did was a, a, a more direct way of getting out there, a much better yeah. professional way of it, doing it. It looks great. I'm ex so excited about it. Yes, with you, with all your talent, that's awesome. Are you both from Palm Bay originally, or yes? yes. So small world. Yeah. So. Well, that's you got to watch a video, okay? Because <laughs> we're coming to the end of the show, and it's like I said in the beginning of the show. It's my honor to have Gary here, and and these three wonderful people with NTLC, of course. Um, <laughs> and, and you can always see that even though I. I own ISW and uh, the studio's been here, and I'm in the video. I, I got to, you know, applaud, and my hat goes off to TLC. They're doing a great job of video work. One more time, I want you to tell them where your dot com is again. It's TLCFilmProductions.com, or check us out on Facebook, TLC Film Productions. There you go, yeah. see? And YouTube as well. We have a YouTube channel as well. All our yeah, videos. they're right here <laughs> in Brevard County in Palm Bay. And you can get information off of those sites so they can check with you there. Mm -hmm. Right? Awesome. Yeah. And and we'll we'll see you in some other probably video Hopefully. In, yes. the in the near future. That's your your springboard uh, of getting noticed. Yes. Because you're all gonna be watching the star here uh, <laughs> travel around the world eventually. Yeah, that's well, what I so. see. I we I need see. a big RV with a big fridge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's all that TC's got. Well, I told you, TC Ridge has got a big old RV. <laughs> and they go everywhere in that thing. It costs a fortune, too. Yeah. <laughs> and Todd Taylor. We love you, Todd. I just wanted to say that. Love, Todd Taylor. I haven't. Uh, I, no, I know you've been with the Oak Ridge Boys, and, and you're traveling around, and you're messaging me. He always stays in touch with me. Nice. A big presence in Nashville right there. Mr. Banjo Man, <laughs> Todd Taylor. All right. Awesome. Well, I want to thank all of you for thank being you. on the thank show. Thank you for having us. Uh, on this show, it was a, it's always a pleasure to have fine people and good musicians. And I just want to thank all of Bavard County for watching and all you in Hong Kong, <laughs> Italy, <laughs> Belgium, Frank Bassey, uh, Ella, uh, Helen, over in, up in West Virginia. I mean, they're, they're everywhere. Y'all sending me letters and emails <laughs> and watching the show and getting everybody to watch the show. Thank you so much <laughs> for being a fan, and I love you all. Thank you. I'll see you next Thursday from Inside the Soundway. Gary Kirby and Finley York. God bless. Take care. Thank you.
Say 